Welcome to the Plaza Indonesia. We are at the Grand Hyatt Hotel. I'm sure this thing cost um, so much money. We're obviously not staying there. We actually are. Just pretend that we are. We're cooler. We spend more money. And if we dance. Oh. This is the fancy mall. Let's go through security and uh, get in there. We don't know if we're supposed to film in here or just not through security. Yeah, he said no camera. Uh, but. It doesn't seem, this is just like a super duper 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 fancy mall. So I don't know if there will be much for us to see here. It's just all the luxury stores, every single one. So and whatever the heck that thing is. Wow, that is incredible. We don't know if we're supposed to be filming here. We might just cross over to the Grand Indonesia. I don't know if there's gonna be a ton here for us to uh, do other than be like, wow, they got a lot of luxury brands here. I haven't even seen any food anywhere. Sometimes these luxury ones have just uh, absurd amounts of stores and no food other than very fancy food on like the top level. But don't worry, you'll always see a Blackpink brand endorsement. Hello, Kennedy. Human Chanel. Essentially, this is what this one looks like. It's just a bunch of hallways it actually seems like it's pretty big too of this luxury brands as far as the eye can see the luxury stores always are super like spread out and wide so they made them all nice and big and wide so we've really entered into modern indonesia yeah, right indonesia. away right a freaking way <laughs> my gosh they have every single store on the face of the earth in here but I think the Grand Indonesia is where we're gonna get our dang food, dude. I think there's some little food. Oh my gosh, is that Elmo? Elmo? We're taking a shot at Dior right now for not having Jisoo on their store. Where the frack is Jisoo? Chanel had Jenny, but where's Jisoo? Where the frack? All right, boycott Dior, everybody. Yeah, I, I was gonna buy their products, and now I'm not. <sighs> you love their products, I know you do. That was the Plaza Indonesia. Interesting, uh, uh, it's definitely, if you want some luxury shopping, that is an amazing place to go. Wow, they have literally everything. If you want to spend a lot of money on uh, food, that's also the place to go. Everybody in there was seemed very well dressed, like us, of course. Obviously, the dressing connoisseurs. And uh, everyone looked like they were willing to spend some cash. Or they're like us, just looking around and being like, wow, I wish I could shop here. I don't really wish I could shop at those places. I wouldn't get anything. I wouldn't, I don't I wouldn't want either. I don't. Some people just do wish, though. And this is the downtown kind of fancy area this goes down for a while but this is the area with the big fountain kind of like a central area because i mean they have the hyatt right here which is very expensive they have the mandarin oriental right there lots of glass buildings tall glass buildings and the most luxury thing of all the foot locker i love foot locker i really do i, I do too you know you just, sometimes you get tired of your feet and you just gotta put them in a locker so. exactly the traffic is really picked up once we got to this area and our grab driver said the traffic the last two days which is the traffic we've been experiencing and we're like you know what the traffic isn't that bad here it's actually because of the holiday that's been going on the last two days today's sunday so the traffic probably isn't as bad he said tomorrow it's going to be terrible so that's good to know i guess we'll see what that looks like um it won't, uh, maybe it won't affect us too much, but we do have a long drive to the airport one day. Yeah, we do. Uh, so I'm curious what that's gonna be like with the traffic. Hopefully, hopefully at 5 a.m. it isn't bad. We'll see. Okay, so we're gonna head, there's just a bunch of malls in this area. Next, we're gonna head to the Grand Indonesia Mall, which is supposed to be like one of the biggest malls in the entire country. And uh, there should be some food options there. Pretty dang cool mall, I'm sure. Let's go check it out. Guy's driving pretty fast. He did not slow down at all. The crosswalks are a suggestion. So I mean, the areas we've been staying in Indonesia have been pretty nice so far. Very clean. Very clean. We have been staying in, I think, which are considered a lot of the nicer areas, the North Jakarta. And now this is like right on the, I don't know if this is considered completely south or just normal Jakarta, whatever this, Central Business District area is. But my gosh, it is fancy, it is clean. Well, is that always a representation of the city as a whole? Definitely not. So we don't know what goes on on the outskirts necessarily. Some other cities like uh, Manila, for example, we threw ourselves kind of into the outskirts and that's where we stayed. So that's, you get a whole different representation of what the people are actually like and what, what probably regular life is like in the city. Whereas when you go somewhere for a shorter amount of time, like here in Jakarta, 
we usually just find yourselves in the nicer areas. Yes, and the tourist spot, hot spots and stuff like that. That's what we're finding, and we're finding this area. Hi. I'm finding this area already to be significantly busier than everywhere else. Oh, for sure. Which it's, is, it, I think the roads are definitely a lot tighter, which gives it that feeling too. I think this is our mall right here. That's a pretty dang big mall. West Mall, East Mall. They just is there two connected basically? I guess so. That one says Alun Alun Indonesia. Oh, I don't know where the frack we are anymore. All right, we're in. It looks fancy like the last one. We're just looking for the food. We just want some snackers. <laughs> we came to the wrong malls for snacks, I guess. <laughs> Too fancy. Modern. Uh, if. Fancy and modern, I guess, are similar, so, yeah. I mentioned this in the other one, but the way people dress and the demeanors people have in these are way different. Oh my gosh, what the heck? It's just a big store. This, there's just like, this is basically just like a big like outlet mall, almost an indoor outlet mall. I'm very confused. How do we get out of this area? We're literally just in a never ending store. It's like a giant department store and we cannot get out. This is how they get your money. <sighs> if you can't leave, you gotta buy something. <laughs> That's it's next. not ending. It's what just the, massive. What is happening right now? How do you get out of here? Just keep going up until something changes. That's the only strategy right now. Just keep going up. Oh, there's a lot more up. Oh yeah, there's something up there. It opens up right here. Maybe we need Let's two more stories. Oh, just the central department store, I guess. The frag, it was like so many stories. You have to go through three floors of department store before you get to get to the other stores. And when, I don't know if you guys noticed when we entered, we were just in like a little nook, like a little corner. And then you had to walk through the department store to get to other sectors. This is a big Watson's? What's going on over here? There's just a hallway that way? They have like signs set up along this area, but it's very confusing still. All I know is three monkeys. Three monkeys. Well, that's quite the odd shape. That is a really odd shape mall. What the frack? They give you like three different things on each, four different things on each floor. And none of them are talking about food. Where is our food? Uh... Oh, they got a fancy little ceiling looking thing. Wow, look at that. Modern art inside of a mall. Fantastic. All right, we're in the cyber zone now. Well, I wonder if it'll work like the Philippines. How the heck do we find the food? Uh, they have 3A. This is starting to seem like the uh, Bali airport. <laughs> Just random letters on numbers. Why does it seem like this? Why is it so hot up here? Yeah, they definitely want to lose the AC up here. Ah, it's Ace. What the frag is this? What is that? Let's see what it says. Oh, now we're on five. We went from 3A to five. This claims that five is the last one. Indonesian malls are too modern for us. They're too modern, too confusing. <laughs> Some foods are popping up, or restaurants that we've seen before. A Starbucks, though. A Starbucks. Starbucks. The more confused I get, the hungrier I become. And the more modern this area is. Oh, yeah. oh there's restaurants up there for sure. Okay, this seems like a normal mall area now, this yeah, section. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, this is definitely more mall. What's the east half of this mall? Just like the, the store department side? Store weird area. This is one of the biggest malls in Indonesia, and it's very big. Yeah, true. And the, with the layout, the shape it had, I'm sure we'll get very confused. They have a TikTok room over there. What? Oh! Is this Italy or Indonesia? I don't know. Here's something to reflect on, everybody. And we have people that try to deny this fact every time we bring it up. Every time we go into the fancy malls, into the luxury areas, nobody's there. And then every time we go to the food areas and the normal stores and stuff, it's super cracking busy. There's so many people, it was hard to walk getting off the escalator. Every single time we mention that, like, is there really a point for these stores? Do people actually buy these things? Then there's somebody who's like, oh, yo, well, that's just because you were there at this time and there wasn't enough. No, they're never, every time we go. It's cool, I guess, to like walk around one time and just look at the stores and be like, wow, nice. 
but that's about it. That's about the use, the, the maximum use potential I think the average person gets out of them. Yeah, definitely. This area is much cooler. It actually has a theme, it actually has a soul. It's not just yellow lights and uh, marble. And a soul also means food. I want food. Time to get the most soul food you can get. Oh, this is a really cool area, actually. Thai cuisine. Sushi hero. Cookies. Yum. That's something we don't get often when you travel is a nice good cookie. True. You didn't get that. That's not, just, that's not like a tourist food ever. No. When's the last time you had a nice good cookie? This section seems to have a lot of East Asian, specifically Japanese food. What about haagen -Dazs? That's my favorite Japanese food. Nice! Wow, this is cool. This is gonna be, we're gonna have to walk around this a lot to find a restaurant. Oh, Pentius. I saw this one, whatever it's called. It's a pancake store. Interesting. Interesting. It's popping. It must be good. Hey, if we need some dessert, that might be our spot. Or we could go to Butter Man. It's the man with the butter. Butter Man. Butter Man. Oh my gosh, it's still going. <laughs> Feel Kalam. Oh, what the heck is toilet? That sounds like a delicious that might restaurant. Be a good one. Why isn't it a wash Well, we'll keep that in mind. Sir. This is epic. They have bumper a cars. A panda cop. That's freaking sick. Something we noticed in Indonesia that has been a trend in all of Southeast Asia. Japanese food is very, very, very popular. As in 60% of the restaurants in every single mall. At least. It's insane how much there is. And then there's also Indonesian chains that serve Japanese food. Wow, look at how much bigger the Yoshinoya menu is here than in the Philippines. Wow. That menu's like twice as big here. Fresh fruits, real cheese, premium tea. Interesting. These ones are 80,000 and mixed use 15. It's because they're fresh fruits and real cheese. If you want your cheesy fruit drinks, that's the place to go. Oh, they actually have hot dogs at the Dairy Queen here. Hot dogs and blizzards. Get two blizzards uh, of your fave for 93k. Oh, there we go, Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. All right, we've arrived in the food court area. Taco Bell, KFC, the fancy mall. No, this is where we belong. Fiesta stage. Once again, look at how many fucking people are here compared oh to gosh, the fancy full. area. Oops, sorry. You really can barely walk in this place. It's so busy. So I gotta say, uh, for food options, this might be the best food court we've ever seen in a mall. My God. There are so many places you can eat in this food court. I think it's a toss up between uh, Dubai Mall and this mall for best food court. There's the Carl's Jr. and the Wing Stop. Interesting. This place is popping. People are waiting in line for ramen? Must be a good place. I mean, ramen, yeah. Ramen, yeah. Uh, well, that's the food tour. We had a lot of food options, so I guess. So many. We're just gonna walk through and see what the heck we wanna end up eating at. I gotta say, amazing options in the food court. Too tight. It's really hard to walk. Yeah, it's really small. They didn't give you much space for how many people are gonna be in there. And I don't know exactly what side of the, the walkway we're supposed to walk on. It's very confusing. People walk on both. And some people walk, decide to walk on one side, and then they do not move. They don't move. And they'll just walk right into you. It's very hard when you're already in such a tight space. All right, that's all the food. Let's eat. Guys, we're looking at Taco Bell. This is a surprise to be in Indonesia, to say the least. So, yeah, pink lemonade. Fanta, blue, white, but it's pink. Lemonade, mango freeze, blueberry freeze. Hello. Wow, there's a lot. Ice cream. We're starving and we just ordered a frack ton of food, but there's nowhere to sit in here. We just walked around the entire food floor. There's literally nowhere to sit. Oh my gosh, we got a spot. Finally. We just need to walk all the way around. 
Are you ready for Taco Bell? We got a frack ton apparently. Oh my gosh. Maybe it was just more expensive than we. Yeah. I mean the meals were a hundred thousand. Or uh, some fries and a quesadilla. It's a luxury here. Uh, yeah. We'll see how it tastes. The pictures look super good. We're starving. I think our starvingness is what uh, sends us over our food budget sometimes. All the time. I'm so hungry. I'm really, really hungry. I mean, what? We ate, we ate our breakfast, our little hotel breakfast, and it's 3 o'clock now. Hey, but uh, we're saving money every day with breakfast at the hotel. Taco Bell. A lot of fries. Yeah, they really did load the fries. Is this why it's expensive? I'm very thirsty. It's the best Coke I've ever had. It's actually better than the bottle. It doesn't like try to kill you with the carbonation instantly. We haven't had any Cokes here, have we? I Other than in the restaurant? I think so. No, yeah, we just had them in the restaurant. Because we always get something different when we go to the... Yeah, we haven't had any, any normal... Uh, any soft drinks. Those are things that always taste different in every single country we go to is the Coke and the Pepsi. So we should be trying that. What the heck are we doing? Okay. Have you seen Pepsi at all? No, we haven't. I don't think so. Pepsi? Not season the market? Let's try one of these. Whoa. Those are not like the nacho fries in the US. They look kind of like McDonald's fries, but. Excuse me. I was going to say that. It's like McDonald's fries. But the seasoning isn't really, just kind of tastes, uh, there's a tiny bit of maybe like paprika or something on there. And then it just kind of tastes like salt. Not bad. I mean, they're crunchy. That's all you can ask for is some crunch. Yeah. And now, the quesadilla. In the US, this is my favorite thing on the Taco Bell menu. It's always a bit expensive. But in the Philippines, it was kind of lacking. And in India, it was pretty good, if I recall. It was solid, yeah. yeah. I think in the US, it's been the best so far. How is it in Indonesia? It's hot. I feel so. Ooh, it's loaded. It's a bit different. It's a bit more. The sauce is a bit more peppery. It's not as like the chipotle sauce kind of style that they have in the U.S. A little more peppery, a little fresher tasting actually. That's actually really good. I think that's the best one outside of the U.S. I haven't had the U.S. one in a long time. It might be better than that at this point. I think the problem with the one in the Philippines was that it was like mostly cheese and no sauce. Yeah, the sauce wasn't the same either. It was pretty good. It's not the same sauce, but it's possibly just as good, if not better, than the US sauce. I'm very surprised. I also got a griller. It told me this was small. It's really not that small. That's pretty dang big, actually. I might be very full after this. And hopefully, uh, Indonesian um, Taco Bell doesn't hit our stomach. Yeah, or else our excuse for not getting Indonesian food right now is because Indonesian food has really affected our stomach, so we always need a toilet after. But then we got Taco Bell, so I don't know how smart that is. Taco Bell in the U.S. doesn't hit me like other people say, like, oh, I eat Taco Bell and all oh, yeah, food. But that doesn't happen to me. But it will it here. I don't know. Once again, the sauce here it's really peppery. They really come with like the pepper flavor. Where in the US, I feel like sometimes it can be spicy, but it doesn't taste like a pepper. Kind of like a chipotle sauce. Where this really tastes like a pepper. And I got chicken in this. Chicken is just a little diced up chicken. Decent taste. Not too bad. Not too bad. What did you get? I got a taco. taco. Okay, I got a hard taco. That's pretty good. It's like $2. About, maybe a little less than $2. These were like seven dollars. These two meals. Yeah, the, the combos maybe aren't too worth it. Yeah. Sometimes it seems like for the fast food restaurants. Because I was looking at Burger King here, and like the combo for the lava burger was six dollars. And then you can just get like a few sides and be full and for less almost sometimes. So, so maybe for like some of the fast food restaurants here, they are seen as like exclusive. Like, oh, well, there's not. We don't eat there very much, so they kind of but I don't know. All right, we have a beef taco, or ground chicken taco. I don't remember what the heck this was. It's a little lighter than beef usually is, so I don't know. Tastes like beef. It's a pretty, 
actually Taco Bell tasting taco. And that's kind of what I was craving when I walked up to that place. The cheese is nice. The beef is seasoned to the max. And it's a nice crunchy shell. What else could you want? All right, are you ready to eat a burrito? I'm ready for burrito. The taco is a little spicier than usual. Really? It tingles. It's a good spice, but it tingles. I'm curious what else will tingle in this meal then. Let's see. Look at that fat daddy burrito. I'll try a quick one of these fries. It tastes exactly how you describe them. Some of them have like a lot of spice on one side and then none on the other. Depending on which way you put it down on your tongue, you get different flavors. Not bad. It'd be good if it had the, uh, the cheese sauce that it comes with in the U.S. This would be great with some sauce. Some. They, they probably only have fire sauce here. The fast food, like KFC, was super spicy. Taco Bell is known, I mean, it's, they always have hot sauces and stuff like that. So I'm sure if you wanted it to be really, really spicy, you could get this being really, really spicy. Definitely. That burrito looks the crazy. Burrito. Decent sized burrito. Yeah. That's kind of like a smiley face on the back side. You can put it up here. <laughs> Let's see this thing. Mm. Whoa, that's a lot of cheese. When I bit into it, it just squirted the cheese all over. This, the cheese mixed with the sauce, tastes exactly like a quesadilla. Really? Like the quesadillas in the US almost. What meat did you get in there? I got beef, but I don't see any right there yet. Maybe the beef is in the deeper end. Where's the beef? It's poking through. Ooh, this is really dang good. I'm so hungry right now, this is so, so good. It's very tortilla-y. We mentioned this in our video trying rendang. That beef doesn't seem too common here. And all the beef options here they show, they charged extra for. And it doesn't seem like there's too much beef in here. They're skimping on the beef. So. I think this further proves the hypothesis that beef, beef isn't super common here. But it tastes amazing. This is really, really good. Why? Well, I think this might be like the best fast food crossover we've had in a while. It probably is. It's pretty Maybe dang just good. We're super hungry. I don't know. It tastes really dang good. Uh, here's your secret taco. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, bum 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 I got a supreme taco, I suppose. So it's a little different than yours, and then yep. I got a soft shell too. Oh, they got tomatoes in there. I'm glad I didn't get Supreme. That's a lot of tomatoes. And then I got beef for this one as well. Look at the beef. It doesn't look like normal Taco Bell beef. Well, Taco Bell beef has it. It's very minced and it's uh, very dark. Uh, like it's got the orangeness to it almost yeah. too. But they had like another upgraded option for beef. Maybe that's what it was? Yeah. It was very hard to tell because it was like beef, chicken, or there was another form of beef. Supreme Taco. That is really good. The beef really comes through with the flavor on the back end, and then the you get all the veggies and stuff to start. It is a bit wet, wet. with uh, all the tomatoes and stuff like that. But it tastes really good. They got a little bit of a sauce in there with a hint of spice, nothing too crazy. Very, very tasty. This is, I gotta say, this is hitting the spot right now. Hitting the dang spot. Let's hope it doesn't hit the spot in our toilets later. Or in 10 minutes. I hope not. Sprite taste test. It's very different. It's very smooth. Here. You can get a refill of it. Yeah. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I'm impressed. I am very full. I got a lot of food. It's quite a, a, a satisfying meal, actually. Yeah. Sometimes when you eat fast food, you don't feel too great. Like KFC made us kind of feel uh, sick after eating so much, but I feel fine after that. Now, with the theme of this video. There's fun it's world. Fun over world. There. Now, with the theme of this video, discovering the modern areas, we're going to head to some more modern areas. And can you guess what's going to be there? Buildings? Yes. Malls? Yes. Yours. Yours. Grand Indonesia. What an interesting mall. It's 
It's, it's a pretty cool one. I guess it's got the fancy areas to it too, but it also has some stuff if you're not in the fancy area. There was luxury brands. There were different themes in different areas of the mall. There was a massive food court with pretty much any kind of type of food you could imagine. Massive department store. Yeah, a three-story department store apparently. And uh, it's a big mall. Anything you want inside the Grand Indonesia, one of the biggest malls in Indonesia. And apparently, I don't know, when you try to find information online, sometimes you just, you don't get anything. And, or you get a lot of conflicting information. And for Indonesian malls, that was definitely the case because I saw some lists that claim that was the biggest one outside of the two in Surabaya. And then another one that claimed that the one over there was the biggest one in Jakarta. And then another one that claimed the one over there was the biggest one in Jakarta. So who knows? All we know so far is that there's a lot of Kraken balls here. And there's a lot of Bakso Rusa. Yeah. Our next mall on our journey is the Tharman City Mall. This one looks like it might be a bit older. The outside seems a little more dilapidated. And uh, I don't know, maybe this one's an older one than the Grand Indonesia. They do have a mix you and a KFC. We haven't seen those yet. No, yeah, those aren't fancy enough. Those aren't expensive enough. Come on. And then we're gonna keep heading down the Central Business District into another area. Uh, there's a stadium, hopefully it's a park. I don't know if it's just a stadium or there's actually a park. We'll find out. Farming time, baby. That is very still. There's water flowing into it and it's still very still. What's with still rivers and cities? What the heck? I don't know. There is a space available right there to put a duck oh ad. Oh my gosh. Guys, we're gonna purchase this ad. Please help us out. We will put duck on the ad and he is very cute. Insert the picture we'll use right here. Wow. Duck! Mall time, baby. Well, it's safe to say this is not what I expected this mall to be. It's just a massive and for the first time a uh, refrigerated huge clothes market refrigerated uh, oh, yeah. air conditioned. <laughs> I was on the same the same wavelength there. I mean, isn't air conditioning just human refrigeration? We're just keeping ourselves fresh for those that will harvest us later. They're being harvested. They don't want y'all cooked. You can harvest my brain and be it to Murph. Murph. The Murphy. The Murphy. He would eat your brain. He would. Listen, I was not expecting this at all. Wow, this is big. Oh my gosh, this is massive. It's a massive, massive shopping center. It's just all clothes. I think this is like basically the biggest like bizarre thing like this I've ever seen. And it seems a lot more practical than the other mall when it comes to uh, wanting to find clothing. Yeah, definitely. My gosh. This is uh, overwhelming levels of shopping. I, I can't imagine actually wanting to find something. Hey, how's it going? It goes far down. It goes up. I mean, it's a tall building. It might be like five stories tall of this. Yeah, true. True. What the heck is it? This makes the the one in the Philippines, Green Hills, it's like not even close to this big. No, this is crazy. Food court on two and three. There is a food. Wow, it's literally just a straight up mall that has a huge bazaar in it. Okay, I'm gonna. My hypothesis was definitely right. This is definitely an older mall. Apparently they've just kind of decided this is just gonna be the bazaar area and all the businesses will go into the other mall next door. Wow, this is cool. I guess we can see what's up. This is definitely more exciting and interesting to us than uh, the luxury malls. Yeah, for sure. I mean, luxury malls are everywhere. We haven't seen a mall like this anywhere we've been. Look what the at the heck that. is going to be on these top floors then? I have no idea. I don't know what to expect. More stalls on these ones, my gosh. Oh, it literally goes on forever. There's a gym down there, Gold's Gym. A Gold's Gym? Yeah. A Gold's Gym down there? Apparently, unless it's a clothing brand. Oh, it's off. Oh, wait. I don't walk upstairs anymore. I only escalate. I mean, we're in the modern area, the fancy area. Yeah, what the heck? Guys, 
I didn't get a burger on my uh, coral pork sandwich. I'm very disappointed. We're just avoiding showing the camera to any guards, just in case. Welcome to the electronic section over there, or there's some. This one reminds me now of like a more street market type of mall than that one in uh, Kuala Lumpur that was only electronics. Oh yeah, that's true. It kind of got the same setup too, where it's just massive tall. Yeah. But this one's just clothes on clothes on clothes. It's literally, how many stories do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. So six floors of clothes. And it literally, there's, you can see clothes at the top one too. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this in my life. So many places like this we've uh, seen where there's just so much of one product. It's insane. I don't know how, like, these upstairs areas are definitely not as busy as down below. So do they even sell anything up here? No, probably not as much. I wonder if this used to be, if this is what it always was, or this is what it became after the new mall was built right next to it. That's what I'm wondering. I mean, it seems like it's just rented spaces. Like they, they just rent out the, the different spaces on the corners. Like there's some that are not filled over there. So this is just a planned giant bazaar or I don't even know. It's very interesting. Farm and City, smart shopping for everybody. Cool. And they don't use plastic bags. Oh, cool. Oh, look at that. That area is all empty. Food court this way. All right. Now we're into the uh, the uh, electronic products. You know, the usual. It seems like it's too big for it's what it is. Yes, I think I think so. I mean, it looks cool that it's big, but there's so much uh, more supply than demand, I think. The bottom floor was so much more busy than these any floors we've been on since the bottom floor. And there's slowly less stores the more you go up to. Yeah, yeah. The court looks empty. All right, they must have, this really must have been an old mall that they kind of have been dying off for a while. Hello. Hello. What the frack? Oh, I guess the food court isn't uh, doing too hot anymore. No, whoa. Oh, look it up there. Oh, this is really big. I think the new mall definitely ran this place out of business. I mean, you saw how busy the other food court is, and you see this one, it's insane. Here is the reality of uh, creating new businesses next to already existing businesses. By creating a new and better improved one, it makes the old one go out of business. Just like this. So I hope the dude just didn't judge. It was my fault. It all gets sued. We just discovered the slowly, slowly crumbling, I would assume, mall. Weird. I was not expecting this at all. I thought it was going to be like the last two we went in. I'm assuming this was extremely busy at its peak. Like, that's why it was so big. So they wouldn't have made it if they didn't think it would be busy with so much other too much competition to in the area and it's people come here for the modern jakarta and uh doesn't fit it anymore interesting wow i'm pretty impressed by how uh, it's not just the same thing over and over we actually just uh, stumbled upon something extremely different pretty cool look at this this is like a horror movie it's empty <laughs> What the heck is something peered down there? That'd be really kind of creepy. Or if all the lights just went out right yeah. now. What? Whoa, Isaac, how'd you get down there? The heck? Did he just teleport? Dude? Isaac? What the frick? <laughs> what the? Right here, buddy. Ah! Well, we haven't done that skit at least a thousand times. Oh, no, never, never. Hey, to new viewers. <laughs> <laughs> we had an open hallway and we we're like, oh, we can do something here. <laughs> uh, this camera's about to die, so, uh... Oi, bro, if you want some bloody fish and chips. Fish and cheap. Fish and cheap. That's epic. If you want a cheap food, you can just go fish and cheap. That was a truly interesting mall right next to that big fracking fancy mall. Comes that. Very different way cheaper than anything else in the other mall, I'm sure. The shirts were $3. So, 
if you want something cheap and you want some clothes and you don't really want to spend a ridiculous amount of money on something else, go there. And then two malls over from that area we were just in, it's back to just normal Jakarta. That is an interesting thing if we've noticed in Southeast Asia. Their business districts are just very, because they have to be in the city, they're just boom. And then they're just surrounded by what was there before. And we went from normal sidewalks to now it's like this double type of sidewalk again. This. So we're gonna head this way. I might try to find like a McDonald's or a KFC to see if we can grab. Unfortunately, neither of those malls had like mall Wi-Fi. <laughs> so we aren't able to get a grab without that type of stuff. We still don't have cash too for some reason. Yeah, so uh, we are screwed unless we can find a place with Wi-Fi. So let's try. I think this walk here is about 30 minutes to the next area, I think, maybe more. So I guess we'll, we'll see if we can find anything. At the moment, it's not looking great. It's not. <laughs> we'll see. We'll just have a nice time exploring some of the uh, busy side streets next to the Jakarta Central Business District. What an epic adventure we have. I don't know what he said, so I'm hoping this is relevant, but the two sides of Jakarta. The streets are really loud. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Well, this is something. Like, this is a train station. I don't think this is going where we want, uh, but the place we want to go would be two stations down and then we take this red train, but I don't know if that would be any quicker. I guess we'll continue. Yeah. Hi. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Real vloggers would have taken that yeah, opportunity. Yeah. And they'd also be packing with the cash and we have a uh, uh, none. I think we could barely afford to get a drink at Alpha Mart right now. I have 7,000, so literally enough for a water. <laughs> we only have one day left. We don't want to take out cash again. And uh, for us, it's, there's a $5 ATM withdrawal fee if we just get even a little bit. Right, let's go with this woman. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, that's how you get across the street. <laughs> you can't tell when you're supposed to cross. <laughs> wow, look at that building. See, that's the thing here. That's two streets down, all of these crazy buildings. They look pretty dang cool. That is a really cool building. They went for the geometric shapes. Wow, snazzy. And now we're gonna head down to those more fancy buildings. Walking vlog. And we're gonna hopefully not get hit by a car or a train. Because the train didn't really have a, like a train is coming crossing thing either. And that train station literally just has a walkway across the tracks to get to the other side. What the heck? It's like the PNR. Yep. Jakarta. Now I do say, that's a cool building. That is a nice looking building. What is it called again? Lizma 46. How about you, Lizma Ball? Oh no. It just kind of sounds like Ligma. Ligma. In the food court, there was no Wi Fi, but there was a locked Wi Fi that was called These Nuts. So, I don't know who that person was, but. Epic memer? Epic memer indeed. These Nuts. We've kind of lost our sidewalk, and uh, it's kind of turned into a pit of despair and agony. Let's just walk on the fracking road and get hit by a bus. That is very unfortunate. Based off our experience walking so far and how many people are on the road walking with us, it does not seem common to walk in this city. Everybody just takes a car or probably a bike. There's, there's so many bikes. Oh, look at that. A nice mural of monkeys. Is this Planet of the Apes? <laughs> <laughs> The strawberries. 
there. The taxi driver just ruined our joke. There's red velvet right there. With the red velvets? The prevalence of K-pop has actually been pretty dang uh, huge here. It's more than what we saw in Korea. Literally, it literally is. We are kings and queens. Oh, look at that over there. Another mall and uh, time for some more donuts, guys. Let's get a whole other box. Oh, yes, please. Yes, I think please. I'm still feeling uh, that from last night. I'm craving so many donuts right now. That was a lot of donuts. That was really a lot of donuts. I don't know if I don't know if I could do that again. And Thailand might have a famous donut shop that we just got. Right. Yeah, we'll have to wait for that. All right, we're gonna try to get a drink. Super duper thirsty. So we stopped up in this mall. Might be able to catch a uh, grab from here as well. Water. That looks so weird. <laughs> Are I'm you all parched. hydrated now? I'm ready to throw this away. Let's go. Hopefully, we can get a grab. Well, guys, if you didn't think the fanciness was enough in the last place. They have a Lamborghini in this one. I'd say that's pretty fancy. They don't have any actual like Lamborghinis like you would imagine. No, there. just the just the lame SUV ones and like this old one that might be like cool. I guess I don't know. I didn't know they had SUV Lamborghinis to be honest. Huh. Weird. Weird. It's a freaking massive fancy mall. Massive and fancy. What do you expect from a, a downtown central business district? I mean, it's really cool. They got the lights going. This one looks a lot like a the Dubai mall, if it was like a bit tighter. It's the same lighting, kind of the same kind of structures going on here. Nice. It's pretty dang cool. You guys have seen enough fancy malls already. We'll, we'll give you a walk around, see if we find anything unique. Wait, we found what's worth looking at now. A cupcake village. A cupcake? Oh, oh my gosh. That's my sleep paralysis demon. That thing <laughs> crawls out from underneath my bed. I feel really bad for you. That would be terrifying. It's whispers, it's like, you know, whispers in my ear. I'm gonna eat you now. And then you feel its head and its teeth come right around my skull. And then? Slowly close. And you're like, ah! There's the little like central area. It looks frank and snazzy as nuts, my Whoa, gosh. There's an Adidas Fancy. right there. An Adidas. 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 We do that every time we see it. Oh yeah, oh, definitely. Wow. Whoa. They have a big LV logo. What does that stand for? Las Vegas? Yeah, I think so. Wow, it's weird like... that they advertise Las Vegas here. Maybe people from Jakarta just like Las Vegas. Yeah. Oh, wait. It stands for Leonard... Leonard Vasquez. Leonard Vasquez? Yeah. He's a famous character from Z Nation. Z Nation? Really? Vasquez, yeah. Is that, is that Javier Vasquez is the brother? <laughs> yeah. What? Is that in the secret season six? It is. I love Z Nation. He's on a lot of floors. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven floors. And whatever that dark floor is up there. That's where the, my, that's where my demon hides. Let's, uh, uh, we're gonna go explore every single floor off camera. We'll get back to you once we're done. Uh, I don't wanna do a wrap down my mouth. <laughs> well, after about three hours, we explored that entire mall. Pretty cool, I'd say, yeah. Pretty cool, I can have yeah. We, saw, we shopped in about every store. We, we bought a ton of stuff. We already sent it home in a piece of luggage. So. I have my Leonard Vasquez new uh, purse and shoes. Oh. Pretty epic. Does it make you? into a scorpion. It makes me want to mercy some zombies. <laughs> but look at these buildings. These are some cool buildings. Man, look at the architecture on some of these. It's very they unique. Have, they have like exoskeletons. I've never seen... Oh, it's still being built. Oh. So maybe it's just... That won't be in the bottom. <laughs> it won't have exoskeletons anymore. Hey, but that one does. Yeah. That one's cool. We're going to see what we can do in this area. There's a park over here. We don't know exactly what it is. Seems like a massive convention center, but we want, but it seems like there is things to do even when there's not events going on and stuff. So we want to go check that out. Watch where I can go. See ya. I'm just gonna wait here. I'm gonna see how long I can go without looking. <laughs> well, I, I was going so long that the uh, the camera actually turned off, and now I have no clue where the Faraki went. So. Join us on this quest to find where he went. I don't know, it's 
going to be really hard to find him, I think. Oh. Sir. I was looking all over for you. Where have you gone? I've been sitting right here motionless for the last two and a half minutes. I bet everyone was very scared by the person who was just sitting here like this. <laughs> I turned off the camera and then it did the thing where I didn't turn back on. So I was just sitting there trying to get the battery out and I was, and I knew you were just, just like a little leg just sticking out just I was, waiting. I was literally sitting here like this the whole time, just staring forward like a freak. And I'm sure people were like, what the heck? Is this guy just cracked out on coker? I am cracked out on coker. Too full the chuck right now. <laughs> These dang palm trees be too thick. They can't even stand by themselves. Look at how thick that is. Well, where'd you get all that thickness from? Thick boiler, thick boiler. I almost fell. <laughs> this thing saved me. I gotta say, this area is pristinely clean. Wait, Even really? the sidewalks literally just have like, they have like no like dead leaves or anything on them either. Right across the street from the $500 a night hotel, which is very reasonable if I have to say. I mean, if, it's, if a street is clean, I'm willing to pay 500 bucks a night, any day. It's not like we're paying like 30 something for a place with free breakfast and a really nice room. Let's go and a nice shower. All right, now record me as I dive into these perfectly trimmed hedges. Don't worry, there's probably barbed wire in them. Oh, that's, it probably is underneath. <laughs> Indonesia's got a weird thing for barbed wire. And a razor wire. They're like, I don't care if this slices somebody's leg open and gives them tetanus, I am not gonna risk my flowers right now. Time to jump. Thick boy you are! It's an interesting area. It really is. It's very, very nice. And there's some very, very nice hotels. The clouds look like they're rolling in and we might get rained on at any moment. It, it randomly gets really windy. So I don't, I don't is this a, even an undercross thing? Because there's an overcross thing right there. Maybe not. I don't see an undercross thing on the other side. Over there, that's the only thing I see. But maybe it's still like a subway or something. Yeah, it is. Subway. The We're going to the restaurant, right? Yeah, we're going to the restaurant on Subway. Italian meatball sub. Okay, you can have it if you want it. Only if I want it. We made it to the stadium park uh, basketball court, uh, other stadium park thing. This has been the only place that has people in it. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a lot of people in here. Wow. Once again, we were in a luxury mall and there was freaking nobody in there. But we come to a park, you know, a place where it's free and you can hang out in fresh air. And it is packed. Wow. Wow, it's very busy. Everyone just chilling out. It's very quiet. It is surprisingly quiet. It kind of smells like fish. Somebody cooking fish. Wow. There's a lot of people here. <laughs> Literally everyone's just chilling out. I feel like we're at a festival. It's like a picnic area. The heck? Oh, yeah, literally, everyone's just chilling. And then there's us, the Biscuit Boys. We're just walking with the camera. We don't fit in at all. And uh, we're here because that's what we do best is be biscuits. And we are boys. That is true. The Biscuit Boys continue their adventure. Oh, that's a dead end over there. It looks like a little cul-de-sac of a people sitting. Oh, literally everyone's just picnicking out. Why don't we picnic out? We didn't bring a blanket, that's why. Dang, now it. We forgot a, bra a blanket. Missed opportunity. This is a weird area. We thought, I thought it'd be like sidewalks all the way to all the stadiums and stuff, but there's just full on roads in this place. And apparently restaurants and food trucks and massive parking ramps. Weird. And non exits right there. Why do they do that? They're just very just random like blockades, not even just like exiting places, just anywhere we've been trying to walk here okay okay but it's blocked we can't walk how we want to walk let us be free jakarta what the heck they're like only people that walk in this city apparently can't walk <laughs> <laughs> we should bu buy a car we should buy a car that'd be a good investment well don't worry we have this under bridge thing we can go to this is what it all came to right back in now this tunnel. i don't know why i'm saying bridge tunnel yeah <laughs> well look at that we're out of the tunnel <laughs> Oh, and now there's an exit. Ah, oh, sick. They just wanted you to go through that awesome tunnel I think they so, built. I think so. 
Oh gosh, there's a KFC truck over there. Oh, that's, that's what that food truck is. Interesting. That is truly epic. Oh man, I'm. I think I'm getting fuller and fuller the more we walk. Don't eat six pounds of Taco Bell. Please stop in the name of the law. Thank you for stopping in the name. They have a parking ramp in this place. Oh. And they have a little slug bug. Slug bug. <laughs> Oh, and it's a banana. What the heck was it? I don't know. Whenever you see a yellow car, you said something. Oh, banana, banana. There's two, three yellow cars. Oh, <laughs> I only did one banana. <laughs> All right, let's go see uh, the KFC truck and get everything we possibly can there. Yeah, happy Colonel. This is very strange. <laughs> they have a freaking KFC truck. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Seems unnecessary for it to be in a truck. Maybe also because there's a KFC right there. Well, if you want to just get some fried chicken on the go, that's how you do it. Yeah, you don't have to walk in the building then. No, come on. Weird place. They just have a KFC in a parking ramp. Uh, or it's like a car. I don't know. I don't know if this is an advertisement. Oh man, there's a why is there so much parking here? Look at all that parking. What the heck? There must be a lot of different like event type spaces they have here. There must be. There's a fracker going. We don't know where we're going, but we're about to find out. The rain is coming. It's gotten very gloomy. It really has. I guess the sun might be setting. 530. It's getting pretty close. Probably got another hour and the clouds are out. Or it's just like this because this is where all the smog was yeah, when we looked true, out. True. Whenever we look out from our hotel, it's this area is just covered in a fog at all times of the day. Whoa, this is going to be a big night market. Oh yeah, it looks like in the cottage. Dang. Well, we came here too early apparently. We just missed this massive night market. Seems like there's a lot of stuff that happens in this area a lot of at different times. It's pretty dang big. It's like a massive square and there's a big stadium right there, like a really big stadium. It's just got it's what you gotta do, bro. You just gotta explore. You never know what you're gonna find. Yeah, bro, you just You one with yourself, man. The road's less traveled, dude. Ah, uh, the road chose me. Yeah, dude. All right, guys, and that was the CBD in Jakarta. It's getting very dark in here, and oh. you know what that means. The demons come out to play. I'm a demon, I'm a demon. Do demons talk like that? I think so, yeah. Dang. I think we're going to head back now. There's a few more malls we could have checked out, but I think we kind of know the gist of the malls now. This area is beautiful. It is super modern, super nice. You have all these nice skyscrapers. This park is fantastic. If you get away from the road, it's very peaceful. It is. And uh, really cool. We're gonna head back to the hotel, see what else we can get into tonight. We might just do some fracking laundry. The city lights are coming out. This, the skyline we get to see at night. This is where some of the lights come from. Some of them. It's pretty cool. We use it to cross under. I don't know. Or else we gotta go back to that thing. We might be able to. We're gonna cross under the street here. We're gonna try to go back to the mall, get some Wi Fi to grab out of here, but we'll see what works. <laughs> or else we're just gonna have to walk the street until we find a McDonald's. <laughs> Are we in Indonesia or a country that walks on the right side of the road? Indonesia really cannot decide if they wanna walk on the right or the left. Hey, I, I'm very confused. You know, it's okay to take some time and, you know, think about yourself. It's not. Please decide. Please, please. I'm getting really tired of people running into us because they walk on both sides of this fracking aisle. Why? Why? Anybody order some pink lava? No. Ah! Oh. Cheesy. Oh, 
Oh, that's a hungry box. We could just go like this. That would be hey guys. pretty epic. Ah, they didn't give us a fork. Epic. These are just normal. This is normal chicken and level zero spiciness. Because uh, I got level two last time and it fracked up my stomach. Uh, let's see if there's going to be any spice at all now. I really have no clue. So we both got the same box here. Uh, the uh, like premium. Hungry box. Hungry box. And we both got pink lava, which we also don't have a straw for. And then unsheathe these swords. Oh gosh, this is really on there. Why don't they give us a fracking straw? Just poke it with the uh, nail clippers that we cut our nails with. I licked my thumb and I know the flavor. Oh frack! Oh, it broke the, it broke the cup. Oh shoot, get a towel. Oh no, it's on the carpet. It broke the fracking cup. Are you kidding me right now? It's cracked like halfway down. This towel's gonna be fracking pink, that's <laughs> oh, all I know. Oh no! Come on! How does that happen? Are you fracking kidding me? Let's frack. Yeah. Alright, that's a bad start for the cheese factory. Cup quality is low. I'll test mine from back here. I don't know what you guys saw, but the fracking cup broke like halfway down this thing. Look at that. How does that even happen? I just poked it with my thumb because they didn't give us any way, other way to poke it. This uh, towel is now pink. What's your thoughts on the drink? Uh, it's like a mild bubble gum. That's very strange. Oh, it is bubble gum, isn't it? Yeah. Well, half of mine's on the floor now, so I won't get to experience that bubble gumness. Just hope they don't notice. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the cheese factory. Uh, everything was just ruined and my life is over. Someone say your disappointment is immeasurable. It now. is immeasurable. Let's start off this video. Sorry if it's like totally out of whack or we're like off to not even. We can't see. We, we don't have a good setup. We in just here. got hungry. I'm gonna eat this rice. That's a lot better than a lot of the other fast food rices. Yeah, it's pretty dang solid. It's like actually separated. It's not yeah. just one mass. I guess we'll try this fried cheese. Fried cheese. Oh, really hard to put. Is that leather or fried cheese? Literally. Tastes good though. It does taste good. Wow, it tastes very cheesy for how fried it is. It tastes kind of like if you fried cheese, to be honest. It kind of does. Fried cheese. I'm glad we have no silverware for any of this either. Until the uh, pom poms, whatever the fact they're called, I think they're pom poms. Pom, right in. Oh, mm. a little mashed potato ball. Yeah. Tastes like kind of like if you were to make a ball and fill it with mashed potatoes. Really? Yeah. That's pretty dang good. Okay. Next we'll move on to, uh, we'll save the fire wing for last. We'll move on to our, what is supposed to be a boneless piece of chicken, but this looks like there's bones in there. I cannot tell. All right, here we go. Whoa. Wow, oh. it's very juicy. Oh, really juicy. It tastes good. That's some good quality chicken, my god. Oh, what the heck? It's juicy and crunchy on the outside, my god. Oh, thank you. Look at this thing. Tell me what it's you. It's literally dripping. What the heck? Mmm. That's wow. really good. Okay. That's really good. The flavor on it's really good, too. That's uh, very surprising. Can finish that. With some rice. Oh, yeah. Nummy. That's nummy. Now, the fire wings, which we got level zero. So, how are they gonna be hot? I don't know. Pink. Sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. It's almost like a honey sauce. Yeah, it's not spicy at all. No. Could've got level one. They, for some reason, they only had zero and one on a grab. Yeah, so we were scared. We are like, is one gonna be crazy? But then when we went in the store, they had zero to five. So, what the heck. Now I'm gonna dip some of this chicken, the juicy stuff, into the cheese sauce. Mm. Look at that cheesy dip right there, baby. I'm glad I can't drink my uh, fracking pink lava now. I can't get this open, you oh, can try no. it. Please don't erupt. Whoa. Wow, that's very cheesy cheese. Rid cheesy? Rid cheesy. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a mac and cheese type of cheese. Like a Kraft mac and cheese. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that is very interesting. It's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. I can't get my fracking open right now. My hands are too... Greasy? Greasy. 
Or juicy, I should say. It's a very greasy or slash juicy. Well, we can't pause the camera, so this is gonna be a mukbang now. The cheese factory, pretty dang solid. The drink, all the pictures, and everyone in the store have this drink. It's, it's weird. It's weird. It's not really, it's like if you were to have a bubblegum drink, but just take out the sugar. It's not very sweet. The cups kind of suck. Yeah, but then everything else we tried is really good. Really good. And it also sucks not to have a fork. Yeah, or any utensil, especially a straw. Well, that was our day in Indonesia, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to do our laundry. That's all we know. That's so for sure. I'm sure we're really excited to see that. See you later.